Hi guys. Um, sorry I have been missing from YouTube for, I don't think it's like two weeks, maybe three. Um, but I wanted to sort of share this, I suppose, because as a woman, um, and many of my followers, I think, are all female, um, there's things that we have to have checked and, and stuff like that, and it's just sort of, I've been putting mine off for a long, long time, um, and it caused us to have possibly the scariest two weeks I've had in a very long time. Um, so I don't know if many of you do know, but when I was 14, I had leukemia up until the age of 18. So it's cancer of the blood. I've got side effects that are like still in my life now, even when I'm 33. Um, so I have like no synovial fluid in my knees, so I get really bad knee pain, um, which acts a lot like arthritis. Um, and I've got prolapsed discs in my back and I have no feeling in the fingertips or my toes. But I was having five year checkups um, and I went to the doctors because I had a lump appear on my head. Now that has been determined to be a cyst and it will get drained, very yucky, not very nice. Um, but when I was there, I said I hadn't had my five year checkup for a long time and I apparently had been signed off, which is great. But the nurse said, you haven't had a blood since you moved to Stafford, so let's run some bloods. And then when I was working away at Hickstead on the Thursday, I got a phone call from the doctor asking if I could go in, which already rings alarm bells. Um, eventually they found out they had to do it over the phone because I was away. And the doctor jumped straight in, literally no beating around the bush. He jumped straight in there and said, you've had a positive trigger for possible ovarian cancer. So the my brain just shut down. Um, I stayed away at work because I knew I needed the distraction. Um, we managed to get a scan quite quickly because of my history. So I had a scan yesterday um, at the time of recording this. Um, not a nice scan, an internal ultrasound. Um, and then I went for my results today and I'm only filming this because Joe, my boss, has been lovely and given me the rest of the day off. And actually like all my friends and everyone knew and I'd shared that I've, I've told everyone I needed to tell and I just felt like I needed to talk and it's nice to just chat. Um, but yeah, I had the results today. I can say it is not cancer. Thank God. Um, the relief from that, I feel like I could sleep for a week. It's the scariest thing ever, especially when I've already had it. I truly honestly would not wish cancer on my worst enemy. It's just the worst. Um, however, I do have a cyst on my left ovary, um, which again is not massive alarm bells but i do need to go back in sort of three i think it was two to three months to just have it checked make sure it's not got any bigger um and to just retake my bloods so but they're not alarmed my it's the ca125 levels um i've got to be in the thousands for them to be cancer apparently and i i wasn't nowhere near that um so i am utterly relieved um Dovin has been ticking over these past two weeks. She's absolutely fine. She's feeling really, really good. She has been in for a nap, but I thought I'd leave her here for this video because you've not seen her. Um, you're a good girl, aren't you? She's such a good girl. Um, we did actually go for a fun ride uh, ooh, last Saturday um, and she thoroughly enjoyed herself. I didn't vlog it because it was only a five mile ride. Um, not many jumps, although we did pop. We popped like our biggest fence we've jumped like since I allow her to jump properly obviously she retired from competitive jumping in 2019 but I do casually just like let her pop the odd fence anyway we did that and she gave me such an amazing feel over the fence I was like oh um so that was a nice welcomed um distraction I suppose so yes I can say that I am going to turn them back out and I'm going to go to bed it is two o'clock in the afternoon and I am gonna go for a nap because I just feel so drained 
I have cried all of my lashes off the last two weeks. Um, so I feel like a naked mole right now. Um, but I'm actually quite tempted to not get them back. I might get like a lift and tint and see how I get on. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep and I can now enter the rest of the shows because I did put that all on hold like I've got Equifest entries that need to be done um, my concourse entries that need to be done and I did I just put everything on hold but you just sort of go into panic and one thing that kills me is my last cancer I lost my final years with my first pony I just outgrew her whilst in the hospital because I was in it wasn't for a long time the treatment was really harsh for what i had before because it was caught so late um and yeah i just i hate that i missed our final years together when we were really really starting to get good and i just thought oh my god she's 24 now and i just thought oh my god am i gonna have to go through all of that again and lose my final years of her so it really really has drilled into me that it's so important that i go and do as much as we can whilst we are both fit and able so yes we are going to royal lancashire in two weeks time i'm hopefully going to the gallops on sunday this sunday um that's very penciled in so we'll see um and then yeah we'll have concourse champs and the veteran horse champs and hopefully we've got a fun thing planned like over the winter so yeah anyway i'm rambling but i just sort of I don't know, maybe I'm an oversharer, I'm not really sure, but it's one of those things where it's something that's been going on in my life. I'd been doing the weekly vlogs to kind of just been filming what goes on in my life. Um, I appreciate all of you that randomly want to watch that, but I love filming and editing it, so um, yeah, I appreciate you. Um, so I thought it would be weird if I just disappeared for two weeks and then didn't say anything. And equally, I want to get the point across that, like, to my my ladies to anyone with kind of like female organ get your smears get things checked when they appear and men to be fair if anything is not normal just get it checked it's actually not i think the scariest thing is just taking the leap to book the appointment but actually once you're there and you're having the appointment it's fine um i know we've just been through hell for the last two weeks and to be fair poor brad has been so worried and so beside himself but it's better to get it checked and it turned out to be not that big of a deal than to leave it and leave it and leave it and then in my case like my leukemia, leukemia got missed a lot and then it was bad so leaving it late can just make it so much worse so yeah anyway you're gonna finish this little snack okay you've got a day off today just because i'm too tired to be honest and yeah hopefully next week we're back at you with a much more fun vlog and then it will be kicking straight off into stayaways and championships and lots of fun things going on so uh thank you so much for hanging around and listening to this i filmed it all in one take go me um yeah i will see you i will see you next week bye guys <laughs>